rest of your life every time you get on the bike. It's something you gotta love and you gotta keep dedicated at and focused. In the end, it's just really fun to be out there. When you think of Puerto Rican athletes, a female motocross rider may not be the first thing that comes to mind. But to Tara Geiger, breaking the mold in an unconventional daredevil sport seems natural since she's been doing it most of her life. Originally, I grew up surfing in Puerto Rico and just I just wanted to have something to go fast on. And I wanted a go-kart, but my dad bought me a motorcycle and haven't stopped since. I was born and raised in Puerto Rico. I learned everything there, surfing, moto, skating. You know, I did it all there growing up. All my friends were guys, so we were always doing crazy stuff, and I always had to be the crazy one. For racing, it's about good starts, getting out front, and just being the fastest one over a period of time. It was different. When I started, I was young, so I didn't really see it as anything different. I raced against the boys in Puerto Rico, and then as I got older, you know, the guys get stronger. We face a lot of adversity being women, but we keep, you know, plugging away and getting better, and we get respect from the men. Being invited to the X Games was huge for us. You know, we were in the Home Depot Center. It was a huge venue. We never raced indoors before. It's a great spectator sport and translates really well. You know, it's really exciting and something different most people don't see in Southern California. Whoever can stay on their bike is going to win it. I was able to pull off a gold medal and I didn't open a lot of people's eyes. They always doubted whether we could race that stuff. and. You know, we've been invited back every year since then, and I hopefully it'll keep going for a long time. From training through injuries to winning gold at the X Games, Tara's career in motocross is definitely demanding. But at the end of the day, her role as one of the faces of women's motocross means more to her than just trophies and endorsements. Well, we're out here in Gainesville, Florida at the Mini O's National. We're out here with Red Bull, Ashley Filek and myself. We're doing a little girls ride day, just meeting up and coming girls and answering any questions they have about pro ranks or just making it in the sport that they want to make a living in. For women, you know, we're working hard every year to keep it progressing. There's some girls riding in Puerto Rico now and I exchange emails with some of them and just help them out when I can, you know, give them advice. So it's just cool to be seeing the sport growing for women like that. You know how many chances you get to come and, you know, meet the girls that hopefully will be trying to beat you one day. If you're a kid and you see somebody that's done well, but they've come from money or, you know, have had everything just hand it to them, it's kind of a deterrent, I guess, but when you see somebody that's grown up just like you make it, you know, it gives you hope that you can do it yourself. Sarah Geiger.